I'm AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number eight of I Create Content. I want to thank you for joining me on today's show. If you caught Monday's episode, we took a look at some crop tool tricks inside of Photoshop. Today, I'm going to be talking layer comps, so let's go ahead and dive right in. You can see on the screen in front of you, I've got a picture of the Grand Canyon, and what I'm going to do is just grab the type tool, and I'm just going to drop a watermark on this picture. Now, I can apply a variety of effects against this watermark and I certainly could create duplicate layers to keep track of all the different changes I make but there's a little known feature that no one really talks about called layer comps. Layer comps inside of Photoshop will save the visibility, the position, and any layer style effects that you apply on a layer. So let's take a look at what I can do with this watermark. Here I have the watermark, it's very plain. This is two layers in my document, and I'm gonna to go to the Layer Comps panel and select New Layer Comp. This is gonna be called Layer Comp number one. I'll just say that this is my original idea. Notice it's saving the visibility, the position, hey, the appearance, and better yet, we'll just call this plain Jane, because that's what it is. I'm gonna click OK. Now I have my very first Layer Comp. Now I'm going to apply a layer style to the copyright and I'm going to move it to a different position. So I'll go ahead and move this on the page. Let's stick it over here and I'll just go to my styles panel. I'm going to click on this and notice now in the type layer I have a drop shadow, I have a bevel and emboss, gradient overlay and a stroke, right? And I've also changed the position of the object on the page. I'll go ahead and click new layer comp and we'll call this a bottom right with effects. Once again, it's saving the visibility, the position, and the appearance. So I'll click OK. I want to do one more variation. So let's go ahead and move this to the top left corner. I'll give it a different layer style. And in fact, I need to edit this one. So let me go ahead and pull up my layer style effects. And I think the stroke on that is way too heavy. So I'm just going to dial that down a bit. Click OK. And I'll save this as a third layer comp. So we'll call this upper left right, with effects. So I'll click OK. And notice now in the layer comps panel, I can actually click through these effects. So here's the first one, shows the text in the middle. Here's the second one, shows it in the bottom right hand corner, and then here's the third that shows it in the top left. So very quickly, I have a way to show you three different styles, all with two layers in my document. I didn't have to duplicate any layers, and more importantly, I didn't have to memorize the settings for all the layer style effects. Notice as I jump through them again, my bottom right with effects has a drop shadow, bevel and emboss, overlay and stroke. Well, so does my upper left with effects. Normally, you'd have to double click on this and remember all the different settings for each of those layer styles. Now, I showed you with a type layer because that's really visual. I think it's really easy to kind of understand the benefit there of using layer comps. Watch what happens when I actually use another image layer. I'm going to go ahead and just turn the type layer off. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the background layer. So I'll create a duplicate of it. And what I'd like to do is just increase the contrast. So one of the ways I can do that is simply multiply the image. And that's a little bit too bright. So let's go ahead and just dial down the opacity a little bit okay, here in the layers panel. So I'll go here to about 50%. I'm going to save this as layer comp number four. And this one will be contrast without text layer. Go ahead and click OK. And notice now, once again, here's my plain Jane with just the copyright in the middle. Then I have my copyright in the lower hand or lower right hand corner. I've got my copyright 
that shows up in the upper left hand corner and then here is my last blend mode between the two layers because remember it remembers the layer visibility is it on or off it remembers the position and it remembers the layer styles and effects I could even decide you know what I'm not really sure if I like that version let me go ahead and change the blend mode to overlay I think I like this a little bit better and I'm actually going to turn this up and I'll go with about 80 percent here so that looks a lot hotter I'll go ahead and save this as my fifth layer comp so this will be overlay blend mode without text now I have five different modes once again I could go between my contrast and my overlay I'm all using three layers I didn't have to make any duplicate layers I didn't have to remember any specific settings so this has been layer comps inside of Photoshop if you're not using them for your designs check them out they're pretty awesome my name's AJ Wood uh, remember we've moved to the Monday Wednesday Friday format for tutorial videos I'd really appreciate your feedback is Monday Wednesday Friday really working out for you is it too many videos is it not enough videos do you want me to move to five days a week I need your feedback and your comments because you guys drive the show so leave me comments on Facebook at ajwood.com slash Facebook or leave me comments on Twitter you can hit me at AJ underscore wood on Twitter or as always leave some comments on the YouTube channel so you guys have a great afternoon and I will see you on Friday